and uh, moving towards that building the first city um, what is the next most important step in that your mind? people want to support it yeah. and there are many wealthy people that know that this system is no good and we will depend on them <clears throat> eventually hearing about the Venus Project and offering us land which is beginning to happen they're offering us land and finances beginning we don't we're not in that position yet but first we'd like to do a major motion picture that'll get out to the general public because more people will understand yeah. it yeah. and yeah. show people in a film what it's like in the in the city what it's like to live there and the advantages and then all the questions that people ask of how you get from here to there it would show it in the film yeah so that, we feel that's important for our next step yeah so it's the communication process yeah yes communication right yeah how long is the script uh, is it done it's kind of in three different forms right now. We're working on putting it all together. Okay. The story is We're about with a group of people doing doing that. The too. film, if yeah. you want to know what it's about, yes. it's about people in the future. Yeah. Yeah. The film opens 50 years into the future, and then the kids say, "How did we get here?" Oh. And the kids say that. Oh. Then we camera goes back in time, starts here, shows the depression, people losing their homes, banks failing. Then it shows people talking about new social ways, socialist, communist, back to Jesus, shows the opposition, you can't have a world like that, human nature won't permit it. We show all the opposition, everything. And then we show how it fails, what doesn't work, what to look for to know which is the, the most appropriate direction. No one really knows the most appropriate direction. It's the most appropriate direction we know of up to now. Yeah. We always tell that to people, so it's, we don't have any final frontiers. Mm -hmm. It's probabilities. Yes, that's yeah. what we deal with. Um, I would like to ask you what, what you think of the direction the Venus Project has taken uh, after beginning collaboration with Peter Joseph and the Zeitgeist Movement. Well, the Zeitgeist Movement, the first film, uh, attacks lots of areas in the culture. So they wrote to Peter Joseph, normal people from all over the world. What can we do about it? It's all right, all that shit's out there. What do we do? Because I don't know. So Roxanne sent him our book called The Best That Money Can't Buy. I don't know. And he read that and he said, that's the answer. And he flew out to Venus Project right away and he stayed there for weeks photographing our project and learning. He says, from now on, the Zeitgeist Movement will have an active group that works toward bringing in the Venus Project. Yeah. So that's our connection. He really and he came out to, to learn yeah. about the Venus Project yeah. about so three, yeah. four times. Yeah. He comes out every month to learn more about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how and our connection. And he's already started filming for the next film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he does yeah. that? Yeah. At your yeah. site? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And he never said, uh, where do I fit in? Yeah. He said, what is the Venus? How, what do you do with murderous criminals? How do you how do you make people saner? How do you deal with crime? What do you do with serial killers? He asked me all those questions. Yeah. So I answered him. He liked the answers. And he says, I see that people are not responsible for the way they behave. When a guy hates Swedes or blacks, that means he was brought up in that area. It doesn't mean he's bad. You know, the members of the Ku Klux Klan were very nice people to me. Yeah. But they really believe that the blacks are lazy, that the Swedes are dumb. They really believe that because they're brought up in that kind of environment. Yeah. Or do you want 